In this video, I am going to solve the problem 52 from chapter 16, Waves Part 1. A string along which waves can travel is 2.7 meter long and has the mass 130 gram. So you have a string and in that string the waves are traveling and the length of the string is mentioned here as 2.7 meter. So better I can write what is given in the question. So L here is 2.7 meter and its mass is given as 130 gram. So in terms of kilogram, which is 0 0.13 kilogram, right? Clear? And the tension in the string is 36 Newton. So how much tension we apply to the string, which is 36 Newton. What must be the frequency of traveling waves of amplitude 7.7 .7 millimeter for the average power to be 170 watt? So here we are going to find the linear frequency. They did not mention angular frequency. They clearly mentioned what must be the frequency if the waves has an amplitude of 7.7 .7 millimeter and for the average power of 170 watt because we already studied in the theory the wave has the power right we have the separate rule am I right so in this question we are going to apply that rule for solving this question so here the power is mentioned as 170 watt and the amplitude y suffix m which is equal to 7.7 .7 millimeter so we have to convert in terms of meter which is 7.7 .7 multiplied by 10 power minus 3 it's a conversion of millimeter to meter so we have to multiply by 10 power minus 3 right okay now what we are going to find they said you have to find what should be the frequency so now we can't use the formula for the angular frequency because we already know omega which is equal to 2 pi f but the most important thing they are just dealing with the amplitude as well as the power. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use two main equation. The first main equation is the power of the wave. How to find the power of the wave? The power of the wave is given by the rule, the linear density multiplied by the speed of the wave on the string and angular frequency square multiplied by the amplitude square divided by two. We can easily find the power. And also, I'm going to use the relation for angular frequency omega which is equal to 2 pi f right now what I'm going to do I'm going to frame these two equation in terms of angular frequency so let's we take this is our first equation this is our second equation so the second equation already in terms of angular frequency right so I have to modify the first equation in terms of angular frequency so I have to rearrange in terms of omega. So here we have omega square. First we rewrite this equation in terms of omega square. After that we can convert this omega square to omega. Clear? Just to take the square root. Clear? Okay. So omega square which is equal to this 2 will go to the left hand side of the numerator. This mu v and amplitude square will come to the left hand side of the denominator. By that the equation becomes 2p over mu v y m square right so here we have framed the equation in terms of omega so therefore omega which is equal to square root of 2p over mu v y m square so let's we take this is our third equation and i am going to equate the second equation and the third equation so you have to see the second equation and the third equation the second equation and third equation is in terms of angular frequency so i can equate equate equation two and three so the left hand side of these two equations are omega so i can write this equation as two pi f which is equal to the right hand side of this equation is square root of 2p over mu v y m square clear okay so we are going to find the answer in terms of linear frequency so i have to modify this equation in terms of linear frequency that is f therefore f which is equal to 
this 2 pi will go to the right hand side of the denominator. Therefore, the above equation will become 1 over 2 pi square root of 2p over mu v y m square, right? Okay. Now, the most important thing, we have the linear density and also we have the speed of the wave on a string. So, that means the two formula is inside the square root, right? So, what I am going to do, if we dump the formula inside the square root, again, this equation will become bigger and bigger, right? So, I have to make my life easy. So, I have to find the linear density separately. I am going to find the speed of the wave separately. I am going to substitute the value only there, right? So, let us we calculate what is the linear density. What is the formula for linear density? The linear density formula is mass per unit length, right? So, what is the mass? They mention the mass is 130 gram, right? So, 130, which is nothing but in terms of kilogram, 0 0.13. And its length is 2.7 meter. They already mentioned everything in the question. So, read the questions very carefully, okay? So, 2.7. So, let us we find what is the value of this mu. So, I have to calculate. 0 0.13 over 2.7 I got the answer as 0 0.0481 so 0 0.048 I'm going to take and its unit is kilogram per meter right likewise I'm going to find what is the speed of the wave so what is the speed of the wave so better I can calculate the speed here as we know speed which is equal to square root of T over mu, right? And the tension, it's already mentioned, which is 36 Newton. And mu value, I'm going to take it from this value. So, therefore, the speed, which is equal to square root of 36 over this value, which is mu, mass per unit length, 0 0.048. So, therefore, V equal to, let's we see what is the answer, 36 over 0 0.048. I got the answer as 27.386. So I can write 27.39, right? 27.39 and the unit is meter per second. So now I'm going to just dump the values in this equation for getting the linear frequency. Therefore, frequency. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute the value inside. 1 over 2 pi, right? Square root of. 2 multiplied by power. How much power? I think it's 170, right? Yeah. So power here is 170. Uh, amplitude is 7.7 .7 millimeter. So we have all the data here. Simply I'm going to dump the values in the equation. By that we can easily find the linear frequency value, right? Okay. 2 Better I can show the formula. By that it will be easy for our understanding. Okay. So 2 multiplied by P. What is P? Which is 170 divided by mu. What is the value of mu here? Which is 0 0.048. 0 0.048 multiplied by what is the speed of the wave? Just before we found 27.39. So 27.39. And amplitude, which is 7.7 .7 millimeter, which is already given in the question. So 7.7 .7 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3. You have to convert that millimeter to meter. So 7.7 .7 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3, but it is squared. So you have to square this number. Clear? So now I'm going to find the answer for the linear frequency. So better, I need some time because I have to calculate. 1 over 2 pi multiply with square root of 2 multiplied by 170 over 0 0.048 multiply by 27.39 multiply with 7.7 .7, 10 power minus 3 the whole square I got the answer as 332.39 hertz so I think this is the answer for this question clear so here the most important thing first of all you have to read very carefully first please try to identify what is given and based on that please use the rule okay so actually in this question we are using the two main equation the one is the power of the wave second one is the angular frequency
so here the power of the wave is rearranged in terms of angular frequency so here i have two main equation the left hand side of the two equations are angular frequency so i just equate equation number 2 and equation number 3 and we rearrange and we calculate the speed we calculate the linear uh, density and after we substitute all the values in this equation we got the linear frequency as 332.39 hertz clear that's it